quick update. I bought the one unit that I won for 220. My friend really liked it and he saw me buy the other two. He's like, I need something. I'll give you 300 for that. I said, screw it. I sold it to him for 80 bucks. And this is, uh, say he says I dodged the bullet. I'll show you our text records real quick and what he says about the unit. Nonetheless, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I made something. He was willing to gamble. Could have been my loss, but thank you, Justin. Shout out to you, Pickers Warehouse. So right before the quarantine happened, right before all this happened, we were at an auction. My buddy Mike, the storage auction pirate, bought three units. I had my eye on one of the units, but I, you know, he was bidding and I was just watching, so it was, it was fun. Um, and after I, I made him an offer on the unit, and he said that's fine. We went over and took a look at the unit real quick, cut up in one box, and there was a few comic books, and then. Um, another box and there was like some kind of toy looking stuff so I was into it I didn't have a unit and I wanted to you know something to do a little treasure hunt this was the nastiest unit I'm telling you there was rat poo uh, literally bags of dirt that the rats <laughs> the rats had eaten through the bags of dirt spilling the dirt into the contents of the entire unit I mean the unit had things that looked interesting antiques it looked interesting but it, it also just looked terribly nasty um, so we made a deal, I bought the unit, and my box truck was full, my van was full, so I rented a U-Haul and uh, took everything straight to the dumps and I sorted it there. I maybe kept 3% of what was in the unit and um, took that over to my storage, put it in there and then all this stuff hit. So we are going to go to my storage and look at, at what did we keep from that unit? What did we keep from the unit that we bought from uh, Mike, the storage auction pirate? Yeah. It should be interesting because I don't even really remember. You know, I remember the gist of what we kept, and again, we didn't keep much. But let's take a look at at what we ended up keeping. Alright Pickers, we are here at my storage unit and we're going to look at some of the stuff we got from the unit that we bought off of Mike, the storage auction pirate. Everything from that unit's right here. Okay, so here's my pile of flea market stuff. You know, when I, go, when I sort through stuff, um, I'll put stuff in a eBay pile, trash pile, flea market pile. And some of the stuff while I was sorting it at the dumps... I made a couple, you know, flea market boxes, and some of this stuff's from the unit we got. Uh, the dolls, the little chandelier, what else do we have? What's in these bags? Yeah, that was from it. Some cookie jars, this uh, picnic basket, you know, some blankets. Not all of this, though. A lot of this was already here. These jars, you know, dollar sunglasses, marbles. This little buddy. Some of this stuff is from that um, from that unit for sure. Now most of it isn't. And then it looks like a cologne perfume collection. These are salt and pepper shakers. Little puppy buddies. Yes. Now yeah, we're getting into a look at that 65 Corvette Stingray. Let's take a look. That's cool. That's awesome. Old school Avon. This one is the Avon Volkswagen bus. Oh, the, the butt came off. It's got a little motorcycle cap. That's cool too. Old cologne bottle with the box. So, like I said, this unit wasn't terrible. It was just nasty and, and I didn't want to keep much of what came out of here. Avon Triumph. TR356. It's full. Should we smell it? Let's smell it. Oh boy. It smells like something. It's 
So that was interesting. So that's cool. Nice little collection of old cologne and perfume. We got the Studebaker, 51 Studebaker. Let's take a look in there. That's cool. Little buddy, looks just like the, the one we just looked at before, huh? Nice box. Avon for men, so that's... It'll be for the gentlemen folk. We got the Kitty Little. More like Kitty Litter. Ferrari 53. There we go. Let's open this bad boy. That's nice. How fun is that? We gotta smell the Ferrari. Let's smell it. Hmm. Doesn't really smell like much. And we got... Isn't that fitting? Unicorn, Mike. There's definitely a unicorn on here. Unicorn decanter. Okay, let's take a look at the unicorn. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Look at that. Mike loves his unicorn, so if you want it, you can have it, buddy. That's cool. Put the protective horn sleeve back on. And we've got something random. Can't really see the label. It looks like it says Estee Lauder Prism. That's old. I mean, that's, that's super old. There's some kind of glass orb. You will make no money on this unit. We've got Firefighter 1910. Let's take a look. Oh, buddy. Look at that. Super cycle. Wild Country. That's pretty cool. That's a big one. Nice. He comes with the handlebars. That's awesome. That one's cool, guys. I like that one. Keep that one. Wear it. We've got the Pierce Arrow. Pierce Arrow. Wild Country Aftershave. Let's take a look. Oh, there's two pieces. That's going to be the top. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Grandma. Look at that. It's awesome. I don't know. I'm starting to want to keep these. I'm a terrible uh, storage buyer because I'll keep stuff if I like it. Why not? Unless I'm like hoarding a bunch of useless <laughs> items. It's like, you notice all the rat poo coming off of these. Yes, I'll be washing my hands vigorously after this. We got the Model A. Avon Leather Aftershave. Oh, fresh. Look at that guy. There's a Model A, all right. That's cool. Interesting. Put the Model A back. We've got Maxwell 23. Let's take a look at that. Oh, there's poops. Nobody wants to have poop as a part of their scent. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, Pickers. Nice. Okay, let's put that one back. Got a little butt cap for it. I'm thinking that's all that's in here cologne-wise. There's something else in there. 
Jiffy Popper. Let's take a look. So that's new. That's a new Elite, new old stock crock pot. The Jiffy Fry. Look at that classic. They don't make fries like they used to. But now you can make fries like they used to. With that brand new in box. Rat poop special. Alright, that was a good box. Here's the third box of stuff I kept. It doesn't say anything on it, but it's pretty cool. Purple dish. Serving platter. And then this says, retail price. Thirty hundred. So, whatever that means. That's something cool, I guess. There's an old book, Leslie's yearbook and encyclopedia. Let's try to find a date on this bad boy. 1917, New York. So that might be something. Cool. And we've got. It says hair curlers. Yep. Hair curlers. Interesting. I've seen these clocks before. They're actually worth decent money. I, I know what these are. Um, old kitchen clocks. This one, not the greatest condition, but they sell decent on eBay. Let's see. We've got jewelry boxes. Or so we think. Should we do these now? Yeah, let's do them now. I hate when everybody makes you wait to see them. So, it's not jewelry at all. It's just... It's like a plastic... Made in China. Good thing we didn't wait, huh guys? That thing's in there. What's going on here? Beautiful items. So whatever these are, they're old. They're definitely old. Comes with a little bit of rot. A little bit of mold for you. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be the same thing. Similar. Not bad. Those are something. That's cool. Then we've got little people. Creepy. And we've got a purple dish. Doesn't say anything on it. Potentially silver napkin rings. Let's look for marks. Looks like old spoons that were made into napkin rings. I could be completely wrong. Plate. Speaking of plate. $12 tea set. Yes, enjoy. God, this is this unit is just screaming pirate. I'm gonna put that on Mike's shoulder one day. Subscribe! It does have like a little thing though. Looks like another jewelry box. I don't think those are gonna be anything. And then of course, an old picture. Wow, that's really old. That's really old. And what's the, the backing holding it in? If you're so damn smart, why ain't you rich? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. Justin, why aren't you rich? You got this. Lace Legacy Creation. Number 28, looks like it's signed. Whatever that, whatever that means. And then we've got, looks like a baby's outfit. Shreys Art, Northern Paper Mills. Set of prints featuring our little American beauties will give you enjoyment for many, many years. You guys, you want to see this? Should we even take a look? Let's see. Some old prints. Oh, they're old. Let's take a look. That's nice. Good art. Let's 
see if there's more. Good artist. Wow. Looks like there's a bunch of them in here. So let's read what those are. There's something here explaining it. Only paper mills. American Beauties. Oh, you get a paper with each one, I guess. There's no date on these, but of course these look super old. Nice and gentile. What else is in this box? A little Swiss Army knife. That's awesome. Oh, it's missing the uh, the toothpick, but it has the tweezers. That's cool. Love those. That's old too. And then this is the last thing in this box. Looks like some really old greeting cards. I don't even want to touch them because my hands are filthy, but. Some old cards. A special get well message. We need that at a time like this, right? We want the world to, to get well. The world is not well. Alright, next box. That's old, whatever it is. A little lamp. There's a lot of lamps in here, and the ones I kept are pretty cool. There's an old ship lamp. little hand-blown glass thing. That's something. Be careful with that. We've got a candle holder, a cup, white pure floating. Can't read it. Have you a little fairy in your home? That's cool. That's really old, so... I like that. That's awesome. Totally dig that. She's got stuff on her, huh? Musical doll. Abigail Mouse. Okay. Abigail Mouse. Musical doll. Oh, she's singing. A little bit. Stage fright. No worries. It's exactly what it says on the box. It's a vintage patio wear set. It's old. That's cool. Little moon. Some brakes. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. That has a six dollar price tag on it, so. I'm guessing it's worth six bucks. And then sponges. Nothing else really in that box. What is this? Pet charms. Okay. This is a cup. It's got something cool there, so I dig that. All right, let's get the next box. DVD Depot. A little China set. Anybody know anything about China? Let's take a look. Candle holder, maybe. I don't know. That's weird. Four ninety nine. So yeah, that pretty much settles that. A little jewel of some kind. $17.99 on the random plate, Favorware, Brooklyn, New York. That's kind of cool. That'll sell. We've got this old mask. And this says $5.99 on it, too. Look at that bad boy. That's cool. No price on that. Wouldn't that be great if it was silver? I'm confident that it's not. But that's really pretty. There we go. An antique of sorts. That's cool. I like that. I got a bag here. And in the bag is wrapped up items. Wow, that's that's cool, dude. Some kind of hand-blown glass. 
sculpture thingy. So here's the rest of the items. I thought that was pretty cool. National Washboard Company. That was old. There's like this little thing behind it. A couple mirrors. Those are cool. That little chest was from there. This little lamp, I guess. And then all these little lamps. You know, that's pretty, uh, that thing's beefy. It was pretty beat up, but it was too cool to, to leave behind. All these little lamps, there's a GE fan back there. That came out of there. A couple of these bowls. I don't think these are anything, but they were worth keeping. That says, real silver. No, that is not real silver. Hand painted glass, so. That's kind of cool, little shell dish. Let's see in that. I thought that was cool, because it looked old. Super American Picker style. So we kept that. And then just different lamps. There's a whole bunch of lamps in there. And these are the ones I kept that looked cool. There's a statue of a woman lamp. Just various lamps. What's that one back there? And then this one here is all wrapped up. Well, it's got some work on it, huh? Let me unwrap that. Well, that's interesting. That's for sure the scepter from Ninja Turtles 3. That's an interesting lamp. This bad boy's heavy, guys. Little cherub. Hello, baby cherub. I paid Mike 300. Uh, it was a complete gamble. What do you guys think? I mean, from what you saw, worth it, not worth it? Hope you guys liked the video. Smash the thumbs up button. Just smash it. Go ahead, smash. Don't smash it. Just press it. Or don't smash it. It really doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're here. You watch the video. All right, pickers, until the next one. Sex unicorn. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs>